because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the hog market and the reason, two reasons. One is that we were looking for a big ABCD pattern up into this area. You'll notice uh, the last couple of days here, market has been down. Uh, consider this is where we shorted it right here. This is a, a $1,500 profit in one day. But you'll see that the low today was the same as the low that we had back here. That was a perfect 382 retracement. We also had one right here, I believe. Let's just double check because that's how we got to that high that we were looking at. And there it was right there. There was your 382 that gave you your high right up in this area uh, right here. Now, that's very important. And uh, the thing that's really important about this is one of our listeners and one of our followers actually uh, came up and uh, shared something with us because I think it's important. And believe me, folks, I don't mean anything derogatory about this because I'm wrong a lot. Well, probably 50-50, right or wrong, but this is the number one hog guy in the world. Uh, this is agricultural online. His name is Dennis Smith. He's been around a long time. He is best, and he says there's no explanation needed. The hogs are simply not there. And then he was talking, and he's long-term, folks. He's saying the two major forces at work are lower supply than expected and a shift of Redan. Look at the date, folks. That was yesterday, and hogs have broken five cents uh, from that level. Now, that's just a, just a slight retracement. Uh, all I'm bringing you to tell you about this, folks, and believe me, if you did, did all my favors, it would, uh, failures, you would take me a uh, four-hour show, show. But anyway, just, just the fact that he did this doesn't mean much because he's looking at a really long term. What I'm trying to show you is even though the news is extremely bullish, the market was very, very overbought. And that's what the patterns try to do and try to tell you. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I know this guy. He's uh, my, just a little younger than me, but uh, he's been around a long time and he's really good. So I'm just saying that when they put these reports out, whether it's Goldman Sachs with crude oil at $200 a barrel when it was 140, you got to remember to follow the charts. That's the one thing that will lead you to the promised land. All right, we'll get back here and we'll look at a couple other charts that we have going on. Uh, we've had a very nice trade, <coughs> excuse me, going on here uh, in the uh, – Crude oil, I tried again, Larry. Let's get up here to the uh, December soybean oil. Now you see we're starting to come down pretty good. So this has uh, well over a $1,000 profit in it. So your stop would be somewhere in here. So you'd lock in a few hundred if it does reverse. But that's what we're doing. So now we'll do the same thing like what we did with the hogs. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up just a little bit. And then we're going to see if this low was a 382 of the last low. And if you bring that in, and there it is today, there's your 382 off of that load. So we're sitting right here. If we don't get any lower than this, uh, today or tomorrow, you want to be covering your short, but you've got to start getting below the 382. It's only 10 pips away, or actually less. So you, it's got to start getting there. Otherwise, this could be, you know, really good support, much like this one was right here from your low up to your high down three days and boom, away it went up again. So that's all it's doing is to give you a guideline of what you're going to have to be risking. That's what the, the whole whole thing is all about. Now we sh we shared a, a potential trade today in in the in the uh, oh God Larry timeout. This hourly chart here on the Treasury bonds. We talked about those yesterday. This is our first really good A B C D Gartley right here. That's what you're looking at. You could assume this could be a head and shoulders pattern because they're both the same price, but it went exactly to the 61% retracement. 117.05, the low is 117.03, and now it's rallied a half a point, which is $500, which would have been your first 
uh, profit objective. Now, this is just the last two days action, but remember these things have been very bearish. So after you've, after you've had the ABCD to the downside, you want to be watching to see when that next 382 might raise its head. So you go from your high down to your low, and that's what we've done so far. Now, if this is really a good one, and remember this is an hourly, so it's taken three hours to do this, we should start popping through here. And we could also possibly look at this with all these election things that are going on. You could be looking at something like this, which would be a giant A, B, C, D up here at 119. That's two handles up from where it is. And on the long-term picture, that would be a five, four or five day rally in a bear market. Boy, you got to take a look at that one from the short side, folks. Selling the treasury bonds, 1.618 at 119.01. This is flat, a bearish chart. This is where we think we're going to probably get to. But this is a very, very bearish chart. Just like this one was, this one was, and this one was. And the fact that we made that little gardley here tells us that we're in possibly a one, two, three, four, five. This was one, two, three days, so we should get a few more days in here, maybe because of the election results, and that would tell us where we are here with the uh, Treasury bonds. Now, just to be safe, let's go take a look at the Treasury notes. Put those up on a 60-minute and see, oh, they're even, they're doing the same thing, but they've actually been weaker. Look at this. They went below, they went below the 78%, almost made a new low. So this is also very important. Blow this up a little bit. Now remember, these things have an open interest six times what the Treasury bonds do. And so this is a big market. Let's just measure the A, B, C, D on this and see where we are. We went way below the 786. And there's where we are now. So let's check and see what this 382 is going to be here. And you'll see we've just come up and hit that. It's taken three hours to get there. Just popped above it right now. So that's a, actually a pretty good sign. Uh, from that perspective. Okay, so we got that one taken care of. Now the next one we have to take a look at is with our two favorite stocks, not mine, but somebody out there keeps asking each day. And this is Mr. Appel. It's having a pretty good rally today. Not much, but it's having a pretty good rally. Um, hasn't really done very much, actually. It's only up about $3 off of the bottom, so nothing to write home about there. And now we'll take a look at Tesla. We'll get this up here and see how Tesla's doing. And um, I voted yesterday, folks. And I'll tell you, I have voted here in Tucson for almost four, yeah, four decades. And uh, yeah, four decades. Uh, no, 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 yeah, four decades. Anyway, this is Tesla. You can see we're making an ABCD pattern right here. Let's just see what this is off of the top. But the, the uh, controls, folks, they not only wanted to see my ID, they asked me questions where I lived, and they asked me questions about my mental acuity. Well, I passed two of those tests. I'm not going to tell you which one I failed. But, uh, well, actually, I, I got them all right. But I was really shocked. And gosh, folks, long lines, one hour and a half to go in and make my mark. I mean, I thought that was a little bit much, but boy, they were really strict with the guidelines. And I, I vote, I don't vote at the, uh, the fancy places, the church and the uh, Mormon temple and stuff like that. No, I go to uh, a little library that's in the south side of town just to get a flavor for what's going on. But uh, it was very interesting to Steve watch. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we'll get back to this British pound here for just a second because we're pretty close. Um, you'll see uh, this was the British pound. We're trying to sell the, try, sell the British pound, folks, at the 382 retracement on this. We haven't quite taken out the highs here, but if we look at this uh, on the uh, long-term picture, let's move it. Uh, let's just go to a four-hour. Oh, yeah, four-hour will do it, I believe. Yeah, there's the four-hour what we want to see. We'll come over here. Now, there's the high that we made back here. We've got to correct this because we've made a new low. We saw that bottom, and then we'll move this out of the way here. I want to show you one other thing because it was similar to what happened in the stock market yesterday. But if we take the high way back here on the September the 25th, the 382 comes in here at uh, 130686. So we're 30 some pips away. You want to wait for that because you should still get there. You've got a lot of things going in your favor. You got some ABCDs in here that should line up pretty good. Let's just see how, how good they do line up. There's the first one right there. And then we got another one right behind it. And that'll take us up there near the promised land too. And if we looked at it from an Elliott wave point of view, and look for the 382 pullback, which was right there. There's where that takes you, right up in that zone. Remember that mathematics precedes geometry, folks. This part is geometry, this part's geometry, this part is mathematics. So there's the number, 1303347, okay? That's what we're watching here today here uh, in the British pound. This has been a good run. Here's what I wanted to show you. Remember that picture I showed you yesterday and also today about the Dow Jones making a new low down here at 117.91? You see this big ABCD pattern coming in here? That was the exact same pattern that we had here. The same thing as what we had in the Dow Jones. You see them repeat over and over again. You got an ABCD coming down into a new retracement. There's your 3A2 and, and away it goes. Just to show you that this is not just made up, what we'll do here is we'll take a look at this again to remind you about the importance of this pattern because it is ABCD, and there it is. It's exactly the same type pattern that we see. An ABCD into a new low, and then away you go. This low took out the low of September 25th, and the 382 comes in here at 4286. So far today, the four. 
has been the uh, 42417 has so been the the high so far. Now, folks, that's still 1,100 points from where we sold it. So even with this 400 point rally today, uh, we're still up 1,100 points. So that's I'm assuming we're going to see a rally like this because of the, I've watched these elections and. Well, I'll tell you what these guys report and what happens is totally different. Now, this this swing did exactly what that other swing did. You see it misses the 382 by, well, it's still early. I mean, it can get up there. That's just 100 points. That's that's a, that's one vote coming in from um, District of Columbia or something, for gosh sakes. All right, let's move on here uh, to a couple, of those, a couple others that are really interesting here. Well, they're all interesting to me, maybe not so much to you, but here's one. We've been bullish on for quite some time, but this is the crude oil with the AI program lined up today. And you can see here, we're coming down into a pretty significant low. There was your low, there was your high, but remember the pattern that we were looking at, folks. We'll get this pattern up here. I think it was on a 13 minute, let's double check. That might've been it, uh, I believe so. There's what we wanna do. We'll clear this out and we'll look at it again. I know you get tired of looking at patterns, folks, but guess what? I don't. And that's what counts. <laughs> Actually, you guys count more than I do. By the way, today's a very important day in old Hollywood days, folks. This was the uh, king of the cowboys. This was his birthday today, Roy Rogers. Uh, his real name was Leonard Sly. He was from uh, Missouri, I believe. And anyway, this measured to 7308. We only got to 72. Uh, 60 on this, but there were a couple other small patterns that were telling us that we were probably coming in to a pretty good high. All right. The reason why is you can see all of these ABCD patterns that are lining up. Now, remember, this took a whole day for these to form. All right. So as you watch this thing unfold, there's your first low. Okay. There's your first high is right up there. <clears throat> and then we have another Excuse me. We have another low right here. This took a little. This took a little more than an hour. This took one hour. Okay. So this is an important low. So what you want to do is to go back to the last low that you had. <coughs> That's significant, and that certainly was because it took an hour to to do that. And when you're interday trading, you need to look at it from an hourly basis. But you'll see what it did was it measured just well. I thought it'd be three eight two, but it didn't. But look where the one point six one eight is. A high was up. Uh, 70 67 and we're looking at 54 and that that's a thou almost a thousand dollars in just a matter of an hour or so what's wrong with that but we got to do the same thing we did before we got to go back and since we're coming down pretty good <clears throat> we've got a major low right back here this is going to be really strong support here for the oil folks clean this out you can see what i'm doing there's your low right here all right you got to come up if you or the reason why i'm saying that if this 382 works, then this next one should work. And we'll move it from there. There's your low. There's your high. Oh, we've come down below it already, folks. Strike number one. So we got to watch it. In fact, we're only not very far off of it, but just a little. So it looks like it could be moving down uh, a little bit more here uh, on the downside. All right. Okay. Let's get that one out of the way. We've covered that. And we need to check. Also, the gasoline, because the gasoline has been the leader. And yeah, we'll take a quick look at that. That's our Bob. Here it is right here. And it should be doing the same thing. And it did. Let's just see how, it, how this one worked. There's the R Bob. We were looking for uh, the ABCD to come up into this area right here. You can see we didn't make it by any stretch of the imagination. There, there was really very little there. We did come back to a 50% retracement right here. That gave us the 1.27, but there's really not much up in here. Not not as clear as it was, <coughs> excuse me, in the crude oil. But if you look at this uh, from a standpoint of just four days, there, there's drive one, there's drive two, and there's drive three. Let's just see how close this lined up to the old ABCD. And then you'll see here, it, didn't, it missed it by... 07 that missed it by two cents that's a that's a lot so that would have been that one would have been harder to trade and that's why i stick with the crude oil because it's got more volume and the patterns are so darn easy to to line up as we see them unfold okay now, i did the same thing here uh, on the crude oil 
take, I want to show you here on the crude oil. Get over here a second here. There's a crude oil. Oh, Larry, try it again, Larry. Hogs. I just wanted to show you the same pattern. Now, hogs are a huge market, folks. It's a huge market traded by hedge funds. Bigger than cattle, believe it or not, which is surprising. Well, better shut up and keep your mouth thought. Be thought a fool than to remove all doubt. Okay, now there's what we've had. We've not had any 382 rally in here to speak of off of any high uh, that I can see, so I wouldn't even count that. The only thing we do have is a small uh, ABCD pattern right here, and that's really all we got. We're going to take a little break, folks. 877 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, as an old ad and chart watcher, I just wanted to bring this up and show you. This is the E-mini looking to get up here. 42460, but you see the the S and P made it and now it's trading below it. 
well, inspiring minds might think if I sold it here, all I got to do is put my stop there. That's only nine points. That's not a bad idea, is it? So we'll see. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But that's the way they look at these things sometimes. I'm just looking at places where you can get in without risking an arm and a leg. That's really what I'm sort of paying attention to here uh, today. Now, as a, we'll get back to this British pound here because we're really close to this British pound. You don't want to miss this one, folks, because this is uh, – uh, well, we only, got, we only got a little bit more to go. I think we can make it. Now, remember, this measures, the ABCD measures here. But remember, mathematics precedes geometry. That's uh, Albert Einstein. So uh, right now, that's only 30 pips away. And uh, frankly, if, <laughs> if it were me, and of course, it's not me looking at this the last few days, we also have an ABCD measuring right up to that same area right up in here. Now, 30 pips is really not very much. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do here, folks. 30 pips is six. That's uh, six. It's about $200 I have to give to make sure I want to reinstate my short position because I, I really like being short the British pound, mainly because of that weekly chart. And if we look at this on the weekly, You'll see uh, all we've done now is come down and had a pretty big, pretty big rally. We're not, we haven't made the 382. See, see the 382 is on that green line. We're 30 pips away. So let's wait for the green line. Okay, might as well. We'll try to get mathematics and geometry together, and we'll see if we can get it lined up. So make sure you keep it up there. It's also, you can see it's going to be really close. There's a number right here. The ABCD measures right to there, which is a 1.618. So that's where you'd put your stop. See, if you're going to sell it here at this level right here, there's your stop level right here. That's only 40 pips. Gee whiz, that's only 250 bucks. And this thing made well over three grand on the way down. So that's not a bad idea from my perspective, you know, just looking at it from, from that level. Okay. Now let's move on to the other one. Someone's asked a question about the old Lone Ranger, and that is the old silver market. And here's silver. We'll get December silver up here so we can take a look at it. It came roaring back last night, folks. Not much, but roaring anyway. You can see there's where we were. Now here again yesterday in the, in the silver, you can see here, uh, looks like we tried to make an ABCD here but failed. Let's just see how close it came to the ABC. I'm pretty sure it didn't do very much. It never even came close at all. And all we've done so far, we had a nice rally here. We rallied uh, almost a dollar an ounce. Really, yeah, just about, see, three, 3.30, about 80 cents an ounce we rallied to right here. So let's check check this out. Just to go back, see if we can find another, well, the 382 on this thing is so far back that you can't even see it. That would be up, well, it wasn't that far away. There would be the 382 on that, so it would be 32.59, but we really didn't do much with that. We also need to look at copper from one of our listeners. We'll get that up and take a quick look at it right here. And let's see, a copper should be screaming, and it is going up. That's what we expected to do. Here's copper over the last, let's just go to a four-hour chart so we can see more of the action. And we are above the 382 now. Uh-oh, no, we're not. It's drawn off the wrong one from old days. Don't look at it that much, at that much. But there's our high right here. And where are we today? Shut the front door and raise the rent. 449 was a 382, and a high today was 449. Maybe that means something. Maybe it doesn't. But if you pay attention to these numbers, sometimes they, they treat you the right way. But that's a really nice number. In fact, that we hit it exactly and backed off, at least so far. That's it on copper. All right, now I have to ask, a qu or someone asked a question about one of the stocks we looked at just the other day, which was, get it up here, hello, 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 hello NVIDIA. This is the big daddy rabbit. This is the one that runs the whole show, somewhat everybody tells me on Bloomberg and all the other stuff. Okay, there's the Bloomberg right here. <sighs> What happens when you take medication for allergies, folks? Here's what we've done over the last uh, month or so, five, less three and a half weeks with NVIDIA. You can see here we had a nice move down to the 786. Now we're having a move back. So far, all, all the market has done is come back and made a 61% retracement here today. That's what we've done so far today. 
and it did it in nice A, B, C, D pack fashion. You can draw them in if you like, but there's your A, B, C, D coming in right up here today at, uh, where is it? I don't get it done in here. At 4067. Yeah, no, it's not, folks. Yeah, 4067, and the high today was 4037. So it missed it by 30 cents. So we won't count that Fibonacci anymore. Miss it by 30 cents out of $140. Boy, that's got to be about 13%, I would think. Let's get this out of the way and get this out of the way. And I'm all out of questions, so let's take a look at the U.S. dollar. That's what's getting all the attention today on Bloomberg because the U.S. dollar is collapsing. It's the end of the world for the new U.S. dollar, as we heard today on Bloomberg. And here's where we are. You can see the U.S. dollar is getting smacked. And it's getting smacked pretty good. You can see it's come down here. We got a double date in here. Yeah, they got, uh, no, that's the same range. That's all that is. So what we want to watch for is the first 382 on this, which comes in here a little bit lower. I'd be really surprised if this is the end of the U.S. dollar, folks. Not after a run like this. You get a run like this, you have to have a little bit of selling to come in, and that's it. So let's look at the euro. It means the euro should have been bought. We were more interested in uh, doing that British pound to uh, revert. Hold on a second. Here's the euro. We'll get it up here. And this should be going up. But, oh, my goodness. Shut the front door and raise the rent. What are we doing here today in the U.S. dollar? Right as we're speaking. How can you ask for something like this, folks? Look, there's your U.S. dollar. There's your 382, 109.322. It's trading 109.332. There it is. You risk, how much you have to risk to see if you're right on this? Hello, operator. I mean, what's wrong with this trade? You're up how many days in a row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 days in a row, and you're at a 382. 382, well, what do you do? I don't know. Sure looks interesting to me, though. That's what I would look at if I were you, but not always. Ten days in a row is a big deal. Look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven days in this run. How much was this one right here? Let's see how many days this one ran. This one ran 14 days. So we're ten days up right at the old 382. You don't have to risk much at this one, folks. So pay attention. We'll take a break here. We'll look at this on the smaller time frame and we'll see where we are holy moly guacamole i see where we are we'll be right back Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, 
Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, okay, folks, we got trouble in River City. There's something wrong. Let me show you why. This is the dollar index, a daily chart. You can see here that it's not anywhere near a 382 retracement, is it? Correct? You can see that. There's your low, there's your 382. Let's do the dollar index on the euro. Oh, where'd you go, euro? Euro, euro everywhere. Oh, I must have taken it off. Let's get it back up here again. Okay, now here's the euro on the dollar daily, okay? Now it's setting right at the exact 382. Something's not right, folks. Something's not right. I know the dollar index is only... 54% uh, of the euro, but the others, you know, the pound is a little bit, the Japanese yen may be a little different. So let's look at the Japanese yen here together to see if, in fact, that's what we've got going on. So we'll come over here and we'll bring up that Japanese yen and we'll see if it's telling a different story also. So we got that up here. We'll put the hourly on so we can see it quickly. Okay, now here's where we're coming out. It's still, still coming down, much like we thought. Remember, on the long term daily on this, we made that 382 again, excuse me, 61% retracement there at 153. Now we're down 150 points, okay? So that's telling you that's okay. So that's lined up. It's just the euro that's messed up, folks. I have not seen that before because if, if it's if it's going to be 382 on one, it should be 382 of the other because they're, they're, it's 53% of it. And some of these others are so small that it doesn't really make very much difference, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I, that's not my specialty, is figuring out stuff like that. I just look at the charts, but when I saw that, I said, wow, how come the euro can be at the 382 and the, the, the uh, dollar index is so darn far away? So there's something wicked going on out there. What it is, I don't know. I really don't know, folks. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of entertainment here. And uh, hold on, we'll get this out of the way. And we'll see where we are with some of these others here. The dollar index, we've got that one done. The British pound, we're still waiting for it to get up there just a tiny bit higher. Looks like it's going to make it. So just be patient with that. I went ahead and I went ahead and did it because I uh, I feel that these things are, uh, well, what I feel and what it, what I go through doesn't really mean very much at all. So let's move on up here. We've already taken a look at some of these others now. Look at this British pound. Let's look at this one right here, which happens to be the. Um, there's the, the we we did this on the hourly chart. Let's get this up here, on the hourly because we've now started. We popped through the 382 already. Okay, now there's a chance over the next day or two that we could get a rally up into this level right here, folks. That's a five-day rally in a flat-out bear market. And there's no other way you can put that in. If you can't sell that one, you can't sell any of them because you can see here, we're, we're just looking for a little ABCD rally up into this area right here. The last time we had a good rally, it went from uh, 119 
up to 121. We rallied two handles. So we almost rallied two handles right here, but from one, say this is 117 to 118.20 would be the same type of rally that we had here. This one took three days. This one is just in the one, two, three, four days. We're still, you know, heading towards uh, that level. So that's what we're, you know, sort of paying attention to here as we're looking at some of these things here uh, this morning. All right, let's move on here. Uh, one other question that someone had, which is about Caterpillar. We'll get that up here. Caterpillar, I believe, had made some type of a major top up in here, and I haven't looked at it in quite some time. Yep, it did make some type of a top, but it hasn't really done very much after the top was in. You can see here, oh, we've got a little rally here today. Let's see if that's a 382. There's your high right here. And there's your 382 right there in Caterpillar. I would be a seller of Caterpillar today, folks, if you believe in ABCDs. And this is one of the reasons why the Dow's so doggone strong. Look at this. This is up 60 points. That's why the Dow's going wacko to the upside. So let's check out. We can do that real easily because I have made a thing here on the Dow Jones. And we look at some of these together. Hold on just a second and we'll bring them up. And we'll see which ones of the group are doing the best today. All right, so that gives all of these right here. Now, look at United Healthcare, folks. This is why the Dow is going so wacko. There was United Healthcare from 55. It's up 10 points. Okay, now uh, this one's this one's down. This is well. This was basically unchanged. Okay, because these are daily charts. Um, J.P. Morgan, how's it doing for today? It's up very slightly. I'm just looking at the real expensive ones, folks. The real expensive ones. This one right here is up pretty good. This one's Caterpillar, which we've already looked at. Uh, Apple's doing very little. Amazon's up just a tiny bit. Oh, here's one that's getting, uh, well, CrowdStrike is up a very, very small amount too. It's mainly these really expensive ones. Here's Home Depot. Uh, it's up uh, pretty good, five, six points. So that all adds up to the Dow Jones being up as much as it's going to be here. IBM is basically unchanged. And uh, Visa is uh, up today, I believe. Uh, yep, it's up another eight or ten points. You add it all up, and what does that do? It tells you that the Dow Jones futures are up, and that's what caused it all. All these stocks, everybody's getting a, a big play. Even McDonald's with its uh, botulism problem or whatever it is, is, uh, is coming back a little bit. It's up at another four or five points today. So that's the reasoning behind all of these, and I want to just put these back together. And put them in like this, and then we'll get back to my regular charts. Hold on one second here, and I'll be right there. And we'll get up here and take a look at some of these other. If you have any questions, and we just had a question coming in from the uh, gallery, so let's get up here and we'll, we'll move this up here. And hold on, where are we at here? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Let me get this chart up. Emerging markets. Hold on. This is from our friends over in Singapore. Okay, now this has been, uh, this is not a very bullish chart, folks. Uh, let's do the daily because I don't uh, trust the intraday on this. Okay, here's where we are right now. We had that big run here now. Over these last, we've, we've rallied now one, two, three, four days. Now, we rallied one, two, three days in this one. This is one, two, three, four. Let's see if it came in right at the old, uh-huh. Today's high, an exact 382 of the high. Isn't that interesting? Hmm, isn't that interesting? How do they make these things up, I wonder? Shut the front door and raise the rent. All right, now let's move on here. <laughs> Folks, what's gonna, what you're going to see here in the next five or six days, you're going to say, shut the front door and raise your hand. How can the market do something like that? Well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. I'm just giving you my two cents worth. And if you pay more than two cents, you're paying way too much. We're now down a buck twenty on the crude oil, still coming down strong, which is, uh, you know, not too unexpected. We did have a slight forecast. Let's check a couple of forecasts here just to see uh, what we're looking at. Let's take a look at the gold. Where's the gold at here? Here's gold, Larry. Let's take a look at our gold for today. This was our pattern of gold. We'll get up the old two minute and we'll see how it looked. Not too bad. This is where we are. We're doing hanging in there okay. Move this over a little bit to 
it's heading, basically, it looks like we're still heading up a little bit here in the gold or flat. There was the high. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, let's hit end the program here. I'm going to do the live trading thing on Friday. This would be the kind of trade that I'm waiting for. Get this daily chart up so you'll be able to see it. We're waiting for this, make the 382 off of this high right back here. Looking at this on the hourly, you can see, I'm going to draw it in, you'll be able to see it real clearly. There's the number right there. You can see it, 1.30668, uh, or 79. Let's put it at 103.679. Uh, I'm going to write that in here. 1.30669. It's going to be the sale, and the stop would be here. Going to risk about 30 pips. Uh, excuse me, $300. Let's get this up here. The stop would be 1.3119. So you're risking 60 pips here, which is $360. This has got a really good chance. This is a really great trading market, folks. You can see there's your ABCD right here. And if you drew that pattern in, you'll see that it was right at the 382. And it was right at a Gartley, and it took a day and a half to form because that's an hourly chart. There it is right there. And that's when we decided that this is where you want to get back into the short side of this puppy. 
right there. That's where you want to be watching it, okay? Now remember that the ABCD takes you higher, but remember, like Einstein said, mathematics precedes geometry. Move this down just a little bit. You can see that 1.618, that's why I stop. It's just a little above that. If it gets above that, there's trouble in River City and we don't want to have anything to do with it, all right? Let's keep that in mind as we go through the day. So I think this is pretty much it on the home front here. See what we got here, 37 seconds. We try to do something nice for your neighbors, folks. Uh, they're also having a memorial service for Tom O'Brien. Hard to say those words, but that'll be Saturday. He would have been his 74th birthday. Uh, really a stand-up guy. I love him very much and the whole family. Just great people there at TFNN. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. My guest on Thursday will be Bill Meridian of Astro.